In this video, we're going to introduce gases and compare them to solids and liquids and then talk about some of the properties that we can look at when we're talking about gases. So first, I just want to compare it to the other two primary states of matter that we talked about, solids and liquids. You can see here we have a solid where you have the atoms closely in contact with each other, where their intermolecular forces really have an impact in holding everything together. They don't have a ton of kinetic energy, and they basically are held in place with a fixed shape and a fixed volume. That's a solid. When we look at a liquid, it's a little bit more fluid, but the molecules are still, or particles, are really still close together. And they have a large impact on each other with respect to their intermolecular forces. When we look at a gas, it's quite a bit different. The volume between the particles is way bigger. And therefore, we don't think of the particles as having those same, the intermolecular forces as having the same effect on how these behave. So when we're talking about a gas, we think of them as like particles that have no impact on each other other than the collision forces that they exert on each other. You can see that they're not all moving at the same speed, but there's an average kinetic energy possessed by the molecules in this sample. And that's what we define as temperature. And you can see that as I add energy, kinetic energy to it, a thermal energy, the particles are going to start moving faster. So the average kinetic energy of the molecules or particles is directly proportional to the temperature. As you add heat, they start moving faster, and that has other effects as well. So here we have a gas sample, and you can see that when you're looking at the walls of the container, the particles are colliding with it. The force that these particles are exerting on the walls of the container, divided by the area over which they're applied, is defined as the pressure. So pressure is force of collision divided by the area over which it's applied. So when I heat up this sample, you can see that the particles start moving faster, and you can see that the pressure starts increasing. That's for two reasons. One, the collisions with the walls of the container are happening much more frequently, and also they're happening on average with more force. Okay, so let's take a look at three laws that we use to describe gases called Boyle's Law, Charles Gay-Lussac's Law, and Charles Law. What they're gonna do is analyze the variables pressure, temperature, and volume, and we'll look at the effects that they have on each other. So the first one I'm gonna look at is pressure and volume. So if I hold the temperature constant and I were to compress this container, the volume is going to go down. And as that happens, you can see the pressure gauge goes up. That's because the collisions, while the molecules or particles are still moving at the same average speed and having the same force, the collisions with the wall are happening much more frequently now as a result of the decreased surface area that being applied over. So if I expand it, the collisions happen with the walls less frequently and you notice that the pressure drops. So this shows an inverse relationship between pressure and volume. And this is what the graph would look like. That's Boyle's Law. The second one I want to look at is the relationship between pressure and temperature. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller for make, to make life easier. And this time I'm going to hold volume constant. So as I add thermal energy to this, I want you to know what happens to the pressure. As I heat this gas up, the pressure builds. And that's again, now the molecules are colliding more frequently with the walls of the container and with more force. So you can see that pressure and temperature have a direct relationship. As I increase the temperature, the pressure of the system goes up as well. The last law I want to look at is Charles' law, which relates to volume and temperature. So now I'm going to hold the pressure constant. So the pressure is going to hover right around here. As I cool this down, because it's already at a pretty high temperature, you're going to see that the container starts to compress or gets smaller. So at a constant pressure, if you decrease the temperature, you decrease the volume. If the volume, the pressure stays constant, the volume is going to expand. That's because the forces on the inside of the walls are going to be getting greater as the temperature gets higher, causing the expansion. All right, so we've looked at a couple things. One, we've analyzed what pressure is. We've compared gases to the other two phases of matter that we frequently talk about. Pressure is force over area. And then we looked at the three gas laws that we'll later use to come up with the combined gas law.